Hello students, welcome to the class of Maths in 2 minutes and today we are going to see the multiple choice questions on Fourier transform. We will see the three examples 11, 12 and 13. These questions are important as far as the gate net set examinations are concerned and as well as for the computing and the university examination. Example number 11 is what? For a function f of x, the Fourier transform is f of omega. Then the inverse Fourier transform of f of omega plus 2 is given by. The four options are here and the option C is correct option. To get the Fourier transform, we are applying it is shifting in omega. So here plus 2 is here, therefore I write down it is what? e to the power minus i2x and then I write down into it is what? fx. So what is that formula that is shifting in omega? It is f of fx e to the power i omega x equals to f of omega minus omega 0. So we are finding the inverse. So this is given to you and we find out this quantity. So if you use this formula for this f of omega plus 2, the option C will be the correct option. Question 12. Let fx and f omega be the Fourier transform pair. The Fourier transform of the function f of phi x minus 3 in terms of f of omega is given by. The four options are here. To find the Fourier transform of this function, we apply the property shifting in x. What is that? Fourier transformation of f of x minus a equals to e to the power minus i a omega into f of omega as well as we apply the property that is change of scale and it is given by Fourier transformation of f of ax equals to 1 by a f bar of omega by a. If you apply the shifting property as well as change of scale property, the answer for that will be it is what c because for 5x we are writing it is 1 by a f of omega by 5 and for this minus 3 I am writing here e to the power i 3 omega. So option C is the correct option. Next question, example number 13, which of the following is not correct? Here the option A is Fourier integral. So this is the formula for the Fourier integral, which is correct. Then the option B, Fourier cosine integral. It is also correct formula for the Fourier cosine integral. Then Fourier sine integral. This is again a correct formula because we are having the d lambda and dt. And option D is what Fourier transform. This formula is incorrect because of this limits of integration. Here the lower limit should be minus infinity. So option D is the correct option which is not correct. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you get something from it, please like and share the video with your friend. Please do subscribe to the channel Mathematics Ganesh Sangraha.